everybody this is collector dude i'm gonna try to do a little quick sketch for chris mefford for his uh uh prize uh, from the pop contest i just did so trying to do figure out which one i wanted to do i'm just going to try to do wolverine here and it's been a while since i've uh drawn it's like um just the work and everything trying to get the heads and everything together and just to do this right hopefully get it where it looks kind of cool or very cool whatever the head right and the cheeks right and and the jaw right and the way the the, the mask looks on his face come around so let's see I haven't drawn Wolverine in a while but get the head and the eyes right If that's right. Did I get that right? Gotta work on this. Um, like I said I haven't drawn Wolverine in a while, so and drawing the mask and everything is like a daunting thing because to get it just right, the way it looks on him. something there and try to figure out like which which part to uh color in which part to leave blank or something so it doesn't so it's not wrong And does he have like a, he doesn't have a stripe on his head, does he? Let's see here.
kind of an okay story. Like I said, it's not perfect and everything. We're trying to look at um what Simone did. And so I've been, like I said, I haven't been drawing in a while. I'm getting rusty and everything. It's just getting my um drawing uh, skills there back or something just to see if I can do it again. I said, because I like to do more videos of me drawing. It's like making mistakes, making um, people cringe or whatever, going, oh, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Just to do it, to uh, see if I can get it right. And see him drawing his costume. Let's see. He's got these things over his shoulders here. And I know he he had the um, shoulder pads at one time. And then, let's see. i to watch it, don't smear it. And if I do smear it, I can, uh, I can fix it. So we'll see that. And what else we got here? So, um, I want to draw his fist in there, but try to get the fist right. Like when it's facing away from you, it takes a little bit of practice and everything. I haven't, uh, got that in a while. Done that in a while. Let's see if I can draw some there. Okay, does he have a cleft in his chin? I guess you could put one in there if you wanted to, but I don't think he does. This is a really rough sketch. So, um, let's see. What else do I need? The eyes. Make sure the eyes are right. Hmm. Not sure that's coming out. I guess I'm my own. I'm I'm my own worst critic and everything. And I look at this and go, ah, start again. I need to clean it up and uh, make sure I got the helmet the way that his face piece comes around his head. Make sure I got that right. And then um, clean up the muscles and everything and see if the um, line work is correct. Make it smoother and everything. Um, take, I don't want to have too many lines. And I know how George Perez does a lot of line work and everything. And how I can make it really sketchy. I don't know if I want to do that or not. But make sure I got the size, the shape of his head correct. And everything uh, and smooth it out here and stuff so he's not too uh, not too sketchy because I know I could I know some artists they will use a blue pen a blue pencil and I used to use them at times but I Never really use use them steadily, but you can do use a blue pencil and do your main artwork with the drawing with, and then go back through it with the pencil, regular two H pencil. Um, I see I got this. Um, I use these pens here, and I, I used to just hate going back and forth to the uh, pencil sharpener, sharpening them and everything. But you can get a certain effect uh, when you use a, a regular two H pencil. Everything. Um, when you're drawing. So I'm gonna put a big thick line there. And I got a smoothing pen where I can smear it and everything. And I use these two, these automatic erasers, these little erasers and everything, uh, where you can just go back and click eraser instead of having to turn around and use 
my uh, pencil all the time, eraser. But um, that's the main image right there. I'm trying to figure out how I got to get the. Um, let's see, he's, his his suit has lines the way Simon did it. He's got the suit down the center there, and the lines down the center here. So I got to maybe start this down here on his chest here, and I'm going to have to move his um, this little tooth fang over a little bit. Let's start this here. Let's start this coming down here. I mean, it looks like a little, it's a little off. So I'm going to have to erase this here. See, so once, once I get my GoPro... Uh, that'll be I'll be to do this a little bit easier we're trying to race oh, it's moving also too I used to when I used this board I got a board here that's under here I um usually tape tape the picture down on the edges so it doesn't move but um I wanted to hurry up and do this I'm trying to get these get this done so I can get it in the mail today hopefully the post office is um, gonna be open so I can mail this out today but I just wanted to show you real quick, like a little sketch that I'm doing. Like I said, I'll try to do more of these, and you'll see me get better and better, because I know um, certain characters I can draw with better than other ones. And some, if you don't draw them enough, you just, they don't look quite like the ones you usually see. But it's it's my version right now of Wolverine. He said, but I gotta, I'm a little rusty. I got to get back into doing it. And it's like I used to draw for hours just to... Um, relieve stress or something like that. If I had a long day or something like that or something was going on, I draw and it would really help me uh, just get peaceful and stuff. But um, let's see. Um, let's see what else we got here. Make sure I get this distance right on his um, shirt or his costume here. Um, that there, and I'll probably have to move his um the 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 tooth part over, and maybe move his um shoulder over a little bit too, because it might be a little short. You see how long this one is over here, and this one's a little shorter. So I can, if I can put the the jagged tooth right here, the fang, and then the other one over here, that'll help uh even out the picture. Like I said, but drawing it with one hand, it makes it a little harder to move it around. But that's just what to show you what I'm doing right now. I'll go through and um, clean it up. Make sure it looks exactly like the way I want it, what Wolverine will look. And try to get the hand in it because he's got to have a big hand over here with the with the, with the the claw blades going out. Because that's what's a, a, a good thing to have for your... Um, um, reference and stuff like that let's see if I can do do a hand over here so I look at my own hand and go okay and then you try to get it going how many blades how many knuckles and everything you have going everything to get that right like I said I when I use my references and everything like that, or have more time and I'm holding the uh, the camera differently and everything like that, I can do a lot better. I might have to change that around. The fist doesn't look quite right with the angle. If you get the angle just right, maybe I'll just do it where it's flat where you see just this part of his hand coming up here so and the blades will just stick up out of uh, out of the uh, top of the paper and let's see yeah I'm gonna change this because the angles quite wrong was off uh, and I'm eventually I gotta get my GoPro going because if I have my GoPro I could do it I could hold my hand up and it, sometimes I used to put a mirror in front of my drawing table i'm sitting on the floor right now where i do my comic book videos but um i used to put a mirror on the wall in front of my comic book table and then i'd um be able to uh make faces and 
put my hand a certain way or something like that if I wanted to figure out how to draw it. Or I used to have our art books with uh, photos and stuff of people posing. It makes it a little bit easier uh, to do that too. You can look at it, reference, or if you have somebody that you know, or if I have people that I know I can have pose for me and say, hey, stand like this <laughs> for a little bit. Or you can get them to stand a certain way and take a photo of them and then draw that. Like Alex Ross does a lot of that. It makes it easier instead of me trying to remember how the hand looks. If I can get somebody to pose exactly the way I want him to look. Like sometimes like this stuff right here. If you draw them enough or if you see some pictures. Now he's probably looked at some photos of people from up above and from the front and side and back. And he puts his own style on it like these here. Put his own style on there. And he's got the look the posture, him sticking his chest out, and he's got his stomach sticking up more, and he's got his shoulders back, and the way he's standing. And see the the feet are a lot bigger than what they should be, but it looks cool though. Just the way he draws. And everything look at the angle of the foot there. And everything, the way he draws it looks looks cool. He's got that certain style and everything that he puts them in. But here, like I guess I'm gonna um, go through this and try to get it all cleaned up and get the hand just right and all the angles and the coloring and everything and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna color it, like I said, I'm just gonna sketch it like this and make sure I wipe it down and everything and try to and put it in a bag and board so um, Chris can have it for his wall or something like that, whatever he wants to put it. And hopefully he'll enjoy it. I guess here, here's this. I guess I'm gonna go through and clean this up a little bit clean up like the muscle lines and the detail because I don't want it to be real thick like that I want to have a little thinner lines and stuff like that smoother and I'll use a smear stick if I can find if I can find one I don't I don't have one right here right out in the open just a second here we go like these I got these smear sticks I got, like I said I got a bunch of stuff my markers all my um micro pens microns Everything that I use, I use Sharpies sometimes. Sharpies will fade over time, so I kind of use like certain type of ink. Then I got my white out stuff that I get if I want to make little highlights because you see he'll do a bunch of highlights on his stuff too when he does color. Like over here, if he colors with uh, white white pencils and stuff, he'll put like highlights on with white out or an airbrush. It's really cool. So, and I keep just keep all types of stuff in here, my pencils and erasers and stuff. But, um... I'm going to keep working on this, hopefully get this done in time, put it in a bag on board, and um, get it done. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, this is just me. I have, like This is the first picture I've drawn probably, my gosh, in about six or seven months. I, I, every once in a while, I'll maybe sketch something, something seriously. And I think the last picture I drew was for uh, another uh, YouTube guy. He won a picture from me, and... Um, or want a comic book for me, and I drew a picture of a Hulk for him. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully, I can get this done and get it ready. But hopefully, you enjoyed that and everything. That's all I got to show you. I said I'll keep working on it. You see, like just the process of my mind, how I think about what I'm going to do, and the angle that I want to start out, what I want to draw on the face, facial features, and everything. A little sneer that he has. If I get the hand just right and everything like that, and I can put this, put the claws up, it'll be cool. And I'll make sure I take a picture of this um, when I'm done with it. But thank you. Uh, let me let me pause it and I'll see if I can finish the picture and I'll start it again so you can see the finished product. You can see I cleaned it up a little bit. Went through and trying to get this shape and angle and everything and get the shading correctly. I'm trying to draw it like Simon did. Simone or some, Simon did. I got these little the, the um, material, the way it comes up and everything. You know, just to darken this area here. Um, this is the darker part of the, the blue part of the costume and then leave some highlights in there for shine or something and put this over here I'll put some more shine in there just to go around this this is his chest here is peck also, there's this clavicle bone here. And this trap. We'll see how this looks here. And hopefully get it to pull together and everything. 
I cleaned it up a lot. I don't really want to put any shading on this. If I do anything, I will use this here and uh, I'll clean this line up here. But to show like shading, or sh oh, I need to tape it down with the, the shadowing so I can do this and I can smear it like that. See how cool that looks? And do it here. Now just like making the right decision where to, where to shadow everything. Down here where the muscle comes down. And this is the top here. Leave it a little lighter. And put a little bit more shade on this part here. His chest. And underneath his neck, like I say, if the light source is coming. If the light source is coming from this, from over here, down onto him. See the shadowing on the side of his head to make it look rounder. This will be darker here. Smear that a little bit. I gotta see exactly how the mask goes. I mean, it looks like it's all it's all blue. I mean, this will be you know, like yellow coming through here. So I would leave that yellow. I would leave that lighter because I'm, I'm not gonna put put any color into it. But this will be a little darker here because it's blue, like his uh, like the darker part of it. And this will be smeared to make this a darker here. And I might, I might go back through. I might put some white out in it to show shine. Once I get the claws done, it took me that much time just to clear it out and clean it up a little bit. Um, a little bit of time to clean it up. You don't know exactly how much time. It's going to be about 10 minutes. I stopped the video and then started again. But go over here and do this. And smear it in. Like I said, if it was getting inked, I wouldn't be worrying about doing the ink, the smearing or anything like that, unless I'm going to combine inks with this, uh, the pencils. But um, that's basically that's what I got so far. Everything. I don't have enough room to put the X symbol in over here. I um, ran out of room, so maybe I'll put it in the background, like put a, a circle, use a cup or something like that, or a compass or something, make a circle there put the X symbol or put it over here, everything with his uh, claws going through it, everything. So I'm going to stop it again and uh, I'll start it again and just once I get some more done. Okay. You see here, I got a mirror here. I'm trying to like show my hand in the mirror so I can see, so I can do this. Everything. Got the angle I'm at. It's just weird. Trying to get it just right so it doesn't look like it's not his arm sticking up there or something like that. And make sure the hand's not too big. I might have to make it smaller, but if it looks okay, I'll finish it. But I got a mirror just holding down so I can look at my hand at that angle and see my face and everything in there. So this is how far I'm getting so far or what I've done so far. So let's try. I'm going to pause it again and see if I can get it, get it done. Okay, I was trying... I did more of the hand. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. I'm not going to worry about it. He like said, if it's too big, it's too big. But it should be okay. Like I said, trying to get the um, little pieces with the, on the gloves that show where the claws come out and everything and just get uh, this shaded in here. And here, it, like I said, professionals when they do it and everything like that I'm not a professional but you probably would just put X's here put X's on it and then the anchor nose just to make it black everything so you don't have to fill it all in but I know some of the books I go through you know the, the, the drawing books that I go through where I show the, the pencils of Jim Lee or Tony McDaniel or Greg Capullo any of those guys when I'm going through those books um, David Finch You'll see that they finish their pencils and everything like that. I'm not sure how that works when an inker goes over top of it. Because I did some comic books before with um, some friends. And they told me not to um, shade in everything. Because it made it harder for the ink to stay on the page. So I'm not sure if when they do those books like that. Those sketchbooks like that. Um, the What do you call them? Uh, rough drafts. Whether they don't worry about that or whether the inker doesn't mind or, or the, whether the inker goes through it and maybe does something to it so the ink will stick once they ink it but um me since this is just a sketch I, I can fill it all in and everything hopefully smear it and 
uh, make it so it's not so you can see all the line work and everything but if if not it's still okay but um there's the hand and everything and I'm trying to figure out how long to make the blades and like I said I can make it where it looks like the fist I guess the fist is closer to you like when instead of being closer up it's further out and everything just for me drawing it now so um, let me see what else I got I gotta fade this in here and um, I want the fist to jump off so I'll probably erase right here so that it jumps out and everything and I'm trying to figure out I got this cup here I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to go through and make circles and make like a couple of X's, X symbols, everything, or put like a, you ever see the one that's like a circle behind his head or something, or or just maybe I won't put anything back there or something like that, because you know who it is, but maybe I'll put a little X or something right there, and then I can put a border with a pen or something around here. Or something just something simple to put it together tie it together and then sign my name to it but um hopefully i'm gonna see get the blades just right you can see like i erased here or erased up here is put a shine mark right there like on on all the yellow i erased right here on the tip of the nose and i erased over here you can see like where i can put like right here so you can see where i erased and i put shading on it looks like it's shining a little bit like simon bianchi stuff does right over here and I can do it on the blades too to make them look like they're shining because here is um, the, the metal parts on his glove so I can erase over here let me see I'm trying to hold the camera and get this right I can erase like this and make it look like it's shining and put it put one here where you got to see it like you, you see it smear into the um, the darker part you can see it looks like it's shining a little bit I can do a little bit of that or I can make an X or something to make it look like it's an X shine and stuff. But once I smear it and everything, once I do that, I can smear this here. And smear a little bit on the fist around the shine where you can kind of see the shine a little better. And the things on and the metal clips on his, uh, or whatever you call it, the on his glove will um, pop out too. Once I smear this down to make it look a little bit darker and everything going over his face. So I can do that and then shade on the glove a little bit because the gloves are dark blue. And I'll clean up the edges and everything so it's not so uh, rough. But then I just got to go through just stuff like that. You see this thing, when you, when you, you can make a point with it. And then when you push down hard, it pushes in like so. There's a difference how you want to, depending on how tight you want the um, the smear to go. If you got to get in real close, you got to make the uh, point come out. Then you press, oops, sorry, make press down on it. And if you want to go back in, just you just push back down to make cover bigger areas. These are pretty cool. You get them at art stores and stuff like that. So I guess you can get them at craft stores too. That's why I got these. I've had them for years and everything. But uh, that's what I'm doing so far. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more and try to get it done so I can have it just for this video so you can see it. Let me get, I'm going to pause it again and I'll be right back. Hey, I did some more. Like I said, I see I took this smear stick and I went through and I did something in the background and I just erased like the front of it. So it looks like the blades are sticking up. And it almost looks like the new version of... Is Wolverine... Does he have his animanium back? Or does he still have the glowing claws? Maybe like the energy claws and everything. But it's kind of like a combination of the two. And so I went through... And I smeared a little bit more. And erased some more so that I have some highlights. And everything. But uh, I'm still not sure what to do with the background. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it alone or not. Or just sign my name over here, I think. But I try to make it just real simple, just a simple picture and everything. I'm gonna, I like to go through and add some white out to it too, if I can get this pen to work. And um, let's see, let me pause it, make sure I get this pen to work. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this pen to work on here. Put some like it 